Welcome to New Realities. I'm Alan Steinfeld. I'm so happy to have back on my program Linda Latincaster. She's a homeopath, a naturopath, a practitioner of radionics, a um, person who really has her understanding on energy medicine, alternative medicine, complementary medicine. You've been doing it for so long and you've helped so many people. <laughs> and you. she's putting on an amazing conference coming up in New York called the GFIM, which means Global Foundation for Integrative Medicine. World Congress of Integrated Medicine. This is happening March 8th and 9th at the, where is it happening? It's Ch at Current, yes. Chelsea Pier number 59. Okay, that's in New York City. You yes, can it go is. right to... on the Hudson River. Great. And there's some amazing people going to be speaking at this conference. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites is Anne Louise Gettleman. Her her breakthrough book, Guess What Came to Dinner, was an amazing uh, awareness of parasites in our diet. And who are some of the other highlights coming oh, up? Oh, well, we have uh, James Gordon coming mm -hmm. up from D.C. We mm -hmm. have uh, Woody Merrill. We have the famous Dietrich Klinghart. Oh, yeah. Why is Dietrich so popular and so famous? Is it Because of his work, his research in limes. Yes. And his yes. Re research in autism. Autism? Autism. And a lot of these are caused by one of the culprits, whether it be a parasite or heavy metals or radiation, but they all eat disease, the disease process. Mm -hmm. Right. We have to find out what the unseen things are that are causing And that's the, your job. This is my job. And you do find out the unseen things. Yeah, we do. Like, what would the unseen things be? Well, yeah. it could be heavy metals, yes. could be chemicals, it could be wireless radiation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it could be uh, bacteria, mm. par uh, microscopic parasites, Environmental worms, worms, worms. Yes, yes. candida, This is viruses. something that mainstream medicine hardly looks at. I know. Isn't that shocking? Still. Well, we understand because when you go into medicine, you just want to make someone feel better. Mm. So they look for what can make them feel better rather than going underneath and looking at the root cause. Right, which is, and you know... Mm -hmm. Yeah, meds. But uh, what's Klinghart's major approach? It, it, diet, cleaning up heavy metals. He says that uh, a lot of the disease processes are pre... Uh, the precursor is heavy metals and radiation. How do people... Where do people get the heavy metals from? Uh, it's in the air. In the water. It's in the water. Uh -huh. It's in our food. Uh -huh. So how do you clean heavy metals out of the person? Well, um, I'm I'm a you know I'm a Dr. Hazel Purcell's person. We love Dr. <laughs> Hazel Purcell, <laughs> the pioneer <laughs> for all of this. So we use have we use therapeutic baths, which which is Clorox baths. Mm -hmm. Sea salt, baking soda baths for radiation, for chemicals, we mm. use apple cider vinegar. Mm. Apple cider vinegar for radiation? For chemicals. For chemicals. A yeah, like carbon, mono uh, carbon monoxide, mm -hmm. a lot of the plastics, that's apple cider vinegar. Plastic. You're taking a yeah. bath and an apple cider vinegar will leach the plastics out of your Well, bath? it's not leach. You know, we, it, it's not like we have a big glob right. of plastic. plastic here. Right. Everything has an energy field, oh. and this energy field has this low frequency. So we use, in kitchen chemistry, we use the opposite. We'll use acid, an acid. So what's an acid? Uh -huh. Apple cider vinegar. Another acid is Clorox. Uh -huh. So for the heavy metals, we use Clorox, and for the chemicals, we use apple cider vinegar. And Hazel, Hazel started, uh, Hazel mm -hmm. discovered, you know, put a little bleach Clorox on your vegetables and you'll get the pesticides out of that, right? And fungicides. And fungicides. And insecticides, yes. She was an incredible person. Yeah, and we understand the electromagnetic frequency. Mm -hmm. I met um, Hazel when she was 89. She lived to 106, so that you stayed correct. with her for a while. I spoke to her the night that she passed. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah. But wait, we'll she get... said an interesting thing. Tell me that night. What you did know, because I don't, I don't. Actually, I'm going to share it in my book. But okay. I, I said, she, and she was ready to leave. 
She mm -hmm. said, I've had enough. You know, I'm 106 of, years old. Of course, she was predicted to die when she was in her 20s, right? 50. 50s. Oh, whatever. Let's not, okay. Yeah. Okay. But Maybe when she was young. Maybe predicted by somebody. But young, like, when she was young. She they, was very sick at 50 with right. uh, bleeding kidneys from tuberculosis. So before she ever got into anything. Anyway, what did she say to you the night? She, yeah, yeah. She, so I, you know, she was kind of on her bed waiting, you know. And so she said to me, Linda, I have been studying energy for so many years. I still have so much energy in my body. So it's hard to let go. And it's time for me to let go. Mm. And, and I guess she did. But she, even well, at 100... She asked me to radionically treat her <laughs> oh. at that time. But even at 106, as at one of her birthday parties, maybe it was 104, she was still quite a strong, hefty, oh, yeah. solid woman. She mm -hmm. wasn't a frail old woman. She was no. sharp and boom. Red lips. Yes. Jewelry. Uh, what do you, dyed you, red hair. What would you attribute that to? From understanding the electromagnetic energy and and keeping that the our cells flowing. So it all comes down to electromagnetic energies. Correct. And that's what which this, is our etheric force field. And that's what this conference is. So well, what's interesting about this conference, which I've been putting on conferences for the last thirty years. As you know. Yes, I've been to them for the last 20 or so years. And, and so, and all over the world, mm -hmm. Asia, Australia, you know, South America, mm -hmm. and so forth. Um, so what I, I used to go to Sri Lanka and help my teacher, Anton Jayasurya, mm -hmm. put on these conferences. And I would always be in the room. I would be in charge of the room with India and Pakistan. Okay. So making I know sure a lot of... Making sure they weren't getting at each other. They weren't getting... Okay, so, okay. But, well, at that time, they weren't getting along at all. Okay. But what I noticed is in medicine, they all spoke together. And there was no boundaries at all. Of course. There's yeah, no... So, Division and understanding. And healing. Yeah, and yeah. the human body and the energy. So I came up, and I, so I talked to Anton, and I said, I came up with this idea, which is our slogan for GFIM, GFIM which is, it is through healing we unite in peace. Oh. So we take medicine as a peace movement. So we uh, accept all kinds, all medicine, mm -hmm. whether it's Western medicine, Eastern medicine. Um, energy healing and so forth, but my job that I feel compelled to bring forward is the understanding of subtle energy in medicine and why it's so important mm. to bring that into all medicine. Subtle, you know, I've been doing a lot of Edgar Casey stuff. Oh, very good. The wet cell, do you know the energy of the wet cell? Mm -hmm. That is so powerful for me. That was, gives me a real zap, a real understanding of yeah. energy medicine. Yeah. So he was one of the first, right, to activate yeah. this idea of the field and the elements. And mm -hmm. so w where can this be integrated into mainstream? How can the mainstream start to understand this and use it as an effective therapy? Well... It's not just the physical body is all we want right. them to be aware of. Right, that's a good point. Okay, yeah. so when my, mother wa when my mother was very sick with her, with failing kidneys, uh, I, w I went to the hospital and I spoke to the kidney doctor. <laughs> and, and they the separated doctor, into parts. I said, well, you know, she's gone through this emotional thing at this particular time. Mm -hmm. And he goes, that's not my job. Why do you think we have all these different kinds of medicine? He says, look, this is a picture of the kidneys. He says, see this? This is a picture of the kidneys. Do you see it attached to anything else? Yes. I <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Everything else. Okay. <laughs> and so it's just the awareness. So, yeah, okay, do your, your kidney treatment, but also she needs some counseling. She needs... She needs other right. parts. How about some Bach flower remedies? How about, you know, homeopathy to open up the vital force? I just, mm. I was going to do, I was doing it anyway, and she right. got well. But just to have the conversation, mm. I realized the, everybody needs, to, we need to integrate all of our therapies. Yes. It's getting better compared to when I started in, 
you know, I started medicine in 1981. But I think that's a really good point. If we're going to change medicine, we have to change the understanding of health and who we are as human beings. We're mental, emotional, spiritual. And until Western medicine understands that, we are um, not going to have a real big change because they need to no, understand that. No, because, yes, we are bones and organs and, you know, we have a physical body. But understand that that physical body is not alive mm. unless it has an etheric part to it. Exactly. It's, it's, until it's inhabited the, by the soul. Is it, that what you, no. What do you mean? No. We have a physical body. If that physical body is alive, it has an etheric force. Mm -hmm. That etheric force is electromagnetic. But what does the soul come in? The, the spirit? soul comes in into that. But they so there's, le there's levels. We have a physical etheric, we have an astral emotional body, we have a mental body, and then we have the mental body connected to our spiritual self, which is our divine. But unless so, there's something's in there, there won't be an electromagnetic field, right? There, no, because That's a plant has an electromagnetic field. Well, they must have an essence, Because it's right? life. It's life, right, but where's the, the life consciousness? The life force, the consciousness, consciousness comes in through the etheric field. So you need the etheric field to yeah. hold consciousness. that consciousness, but also to energize the physicalness of it. There's no life without an etheric field. Well, how do you define actual etheric field? What do you, how do you... you know, the physicists are trying to do this at this mm -hmm. particular time. Okay. It's a big, uh, uh, I would say, a big controversy mm -hmm. because they can't really get it. But I have been watching it for the last 35 years with Dr. Parcell's work. We're able to read that etheric field. In fact, we don't even diagnose on the physical. We diagnose or we analyze on the etheric. But well, what do you mean by etheric? It's an people... energy field. Yes. It's so an energy. Around us or in us? Through us. Okay. Okay. It's at the cell level. Mm -hmm. There is a frequency, this electromagnetic frequency is the etheric field. Each cell has a field, and that emanates okay. from us. So here's your body, but your field is here. Okay. In fact, we're mixing fields. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the field is what holds, would you say, the illness? We can call it a biofield. Does it hold the illness? Uh, it starts there. Starts in the... And that Nothing might... happens in the physical unless it starts in the, phys in the etheric. And that etheric is affected by what? The emotions? Or... And the unseen stuff of heavy metals and radiation. So the heavy chemi... metals, the etheric is affected by heavy metals? or because Of course, the heavy metals because are, it brings are... the field down, and that's our life force. So the density of the field of the heavy metals affects the field of our etheric body Correct. and brings our energy down. That's why it's so important for us to keep our etheric field um, in, in a strong vibration. And how do we do that? Oh, so many ways. First, <laughs> Give us a few. First, organic food. Yes, you can feel And if you can it. even do better if you can get biodynamic. And you can even do better if you pick it right out of the ground and eat it right then. Right. I mean, <laughs> Because <laughs> I was doing that at my friend's farm, and you oh, get nice. so full from just a few... Because of the little, energy. Yes, you really feel full when you pick it right from the earth. But and, we yeah. are, of course, we live in... Part of the time I live in New, New York, York City, City yes. and the other part I live in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And um, you just go out in the air. And that You're lowers gonna, your field. Well, there's lots of chemicals mm -hmm. and radiation and and so what we do we do the Parcells baths which is the Clorox bath for heavy metals uh, apple cider vinegar when, how long do you see how much you put of Clorox in a bath and they how have long do you... con they have made the Clorox formula more concentrated so I recommend a half a cup half a cup in a full bath full tub of Full tub of water, yeah. And how long do you stay in there? Twenty minutes. And you should be in filtered bath water, right? Because there's no, a lot of know, metals in bath water. No. Doesn't no, no. matter. Doesn't matter because you put that Clorox in. Clorox has a very strong energy field, and it neutralizes the heavy metals even in the water. So a half a cup of Clorox. It changes the free, changes the frequency of the field. I see. And, it's a cleansing and in agent. energy, we, always, we know that the stronger energy will always pull. 
Mm -hmm. So in this case, we're in this field that's really a high energy field, and it does pull the heavy metals out. I, be... I'm not going to say pull. That's, no. a, that's a wrong word. We're going to say it neutralizes the electromagnetic frequency of the heavy metals. All right. I started to say we don't have this big glob of aluminum sitting here. Mm -hmm. But what we do is hey, we have this energy field within us that is low frequency. You sit in the bath and the frequency starts to... And should the water be hot? It should be hot, but not so hot that you burn your butt. And then how long would you stay there? 20 minutes. And it usually cools down in that amount of time. Right. And yeah. then you can actually feel a difference. You start to sweat when you're in there. It's like this can. little... Mm -hmm. I have. Mm -hmm. So that's the... Baking, uh, that's for the Clorox, and the baking soda, what does that do? Baking soda and sea salt, a pound of each. A pound, that's a that's, lot of, yeah. but that's okay. That, but you see now, in the radiation field, it's, not, it's a high agitated field. It mm. causes inflammation. So sea salt and baking soda, both of those are alkaline substances, but it's a very strong substance substance so mm -hmm. it brings down the field together puts salt and soda pound of each together not epsom salts no no salt. no no yeah epsom salts you could do if you've got pains in your muscles okay because it's magnesium sea salt yeah a pound of sea salt pound of sea salt and a pound of baking soda yeah and that will detox by radiation it will it yeah. will neutralize radiation and start to get your cells vibrating at a normal flow. And We're you, looking for normal here. You do that for about 20 minutes, too. You do that for 20 Especially, minutes. Especially, I would say, if you've been on your cell phone for a while, right? Cell phones out in the air, mm -hmm. you know, electric... Uh, studios with a lot of yes. electrical stuff. What do you do particularly for people having thyroid issues with their cell phones though? I mean, how would yeah, you? Yeah, well, they sh should not be putting it up to their ear. Right. <laughs> Number one. Oh, never. But you start to, there's many, many things we can do with that. Mm -hmm. um, but first I would say start doing sea salt and baking soda baths. Sometimes we have to be a little more specific and go straight to the thyroid uh -huh. gland, and there are methods to clear that out. Like what would you do? Like what what I do? Yeah, what do you do? No, I want to know what you do. You're the practitioner. Well, if I find, I first put them on a sea salt and baking soda program. Mm -hmm. I also... Um, Suggest that they have a lot of seaweed, right? Because seaweed will neutralize it's radiation. Not seaweed from Japan, because that's not these days. Very from radiated, I'm you know. sure. Mm -hmm. So lots of seaweed that will help. Yes, yeah, kelp and dulse and right. and that even miso soup is very effective. That's right. what the Japanese did during the you know, World War. Right when the atomic bomb was dropped. Yeah, that. Yeah. Right. The ones who survived actually used to that. Mm. Um, but we, we use uh, salt and soda, we use that. And then I will, I, I, it depends, I will use color. Oh, color light therapy? I, I would use color light therapy. Turquoise is really an oh, important really? Um, color combination, blue and green. Mm. Um, I will also sometimes use radionic rates to clear the radiation specifically um. directed to the thyroid. Interesting. I would uh, regenerate the thyroid with a thyroid substance, oh. such as your typical protomorphogen from standard process, you know, thytrophin. Right. Right. right, I know that, you know, in some cases, people who are um, vegetarian, vegetarian yeah. we have that issue, but I can tell you something. It's medicine. What's better, using that or using a chemical drug? No, I'm, I agree. I agree. I, so. I, I personally gave protomorphogens to Yogi Bhajan, mm -hmm. you know, and you he... You worked with Yogi Bhajan. Yeah, for the last 10 years of his life, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, you should give a lecture here. They have a new Yogi Bhajan center here, a new Kundalini Yoga Center. Which one? Rama. Have you been there? I haven't, but I've, I've taught at Golden Bridge. Yeah, this is new. Why don't you come and down Yoga, e yes, yoga down. East, I've... Yes, I'll set that up. They're good friends of mine. Who okay, yeah, I love talking about Yogi Bhajan. I learned so much from yes, Yogi Ji. Yes, that would yeah. be great for you yeah. to come and talk about him. In my book, him. I talk about him. That would great. What is the name of your book? It's called Harmonic Healing. Mm -hmm. And that's out? Yeah. Nope. It's, it's in process. 
It's but, in contract. But getting back to the 2018 yes. GFIM, World Congress of Integrated Medicine, you were talking about Klinghardt. Who was another one of the stars that are coming? Okay, well, mm -hmm. our local people, Martha Cortez, mm -hmm. our local medical doctor, Dr. Ash, Dr. Ben Ash. What does he do? He's Ash. an ENT. But mm -hmm. it's very interesting what he's talking about, which he realized he's a surgeon, ENT doctor. Mm -hmm. But he's talking about uh, evolving from fear to love. Uh -huh. So you cover it all. You cover the emotional, uh, yeah. physical, etheric. Yeah. Zach Bush. Zach, Zach Bush. Bush. He what talks he? about the communication of bacteria. What do you mean the communication? Well, they talk to each other. They do? They do. Why do they do that? Okay, get them stop talking. They have their own population and, and life. The, the good and the bad bacteria talk to each other. Don't we here? I guess. <laughs> the bacteria talk to each other. So what does yeah. that mean? It means, you know, they're busy redoing what they do. What, what do you mean? Well, we need bacteria in of our course. gut. You know, of this course. is called gut health. So that bacteria, but the negative, the bad bacteria also talks to each other. Yeah. So how do we stop so them talking to each other? We don't stop. You know, I don't like the word stop or kill or anything like that. We try to find a harmony. Mm, and harmony between the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. Yeah, the good guys and the bad. Okay. It's called peace. Peace. <laughs> well, maybe there are no real bad guys then. No, maybe uh, not. We, who else do we have? We have Glenn Rhine. I don't know his Glenn work. Glenn is a biophysicist, and he's going to talk about water, infor information, how we use water for information. For information? You yeah, mean like because in homeopathy? Can, or? It, there'll be a part of homeopathy in his talk. Is that how homeopathy works um, as a holder of information? It is. And yeah. so what does he talk about specifically? He tonight? just talks about the details of how uh, water, what water is. Our whole conference is the elements. Oh. We have five elements. Right. There is no life force without that fi those five elements. Without them. Five mm -hmm. elements are. What? The five elements are the... Ether. Okay. Which is the etheric force field, which is the life force, which is actually coming from the cosmos. Okay, that's ether. That's, that's air. That's ether. That's the... That's not air. It's that's not air. That's ether. Ether goes into the air. Okay. Next element. So ether is one element. Air is another element. Fire. Fire. In Chinese medicine, ether is what? Um, because air is like the lungs and metal, and ether is... The wood. Uh, the wood. Okay. So you have... But you're talking you more... I, I, because I'm an Ayurvedic trained. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. So you have ether, air, fire... Um, water. 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 And earth. And... That's the five elements, and those five elements are in our fingers. Oh, each finger is an element. Earth is your pinky finger. Okay. Water, that's where we put our wedding bands. Mm, emotions. <laughs> emotions, water, mm -hmm. fire. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. Fire. The fire. fire of the mind. But fire, which is very much connected. Fire is very con connected to the bacteria. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah. That's why they go on fire and have fevers from bacteria. Oh. And then we have air. The air finger. The air finger. That's the air finger. Okay. And then we have ether. This is your ether thing. Ether. Mm -hmm. Ether. So what is the ether? ego? Ether. Ether. So you have you... to uh, overcome the ego to find, to find the essence of ether. So you treat all these elements in the person. You diagnose which element might be out. I and... don't diagnose anything. You don't. <laughs> I analyze what's going on in the body because usually we have more, even in Ayurveda, you know, mm -hmm. we have three elements that we look at. Yes. We don't have five, but we have three elements. Those are the three doshas, right. as you know. I do. The fire, the, the uh, air, or the earth. Yes, basically, nope. right? Aren't those the doshas? Kapha, earth, pitta, fire. Kapha, water. Kapha. Pitta is fire. fire. And vata, vata is, is air. air. And then we have the earth, which we live in, and the ether, which is connected to the... So have, uh, heaven and earth, mm -hmm. doshas. When we take our pulse, you mm -hmm. know, when we take the pulse, air, fire, water. Mm. 
I see. And then you prescribe, or you die, or you do what when someone's um, out of but balance? That's, you know, I use the Parcel system, so I'm looking for any culprit that's there, or, or I'm looking for environmental pollution. I'm looking at those. You know, when we, um, when Ayurveda was started, mm -hmm. we didn't have all this. All this toxicity. We and didn't have stuff. all that. Okay. The basic constitution needs to be treated in this way. Right. However, we need to clear the field first. So that's what you look at first. What I is, do. Because without all this... And I look at it at the mental, emotional, mm -hmm. physical, etheric, because the physical and etheric are together. Mm -hmm. We can't have a physical without an etheric if it's alive, if mm -hmm. there's a life force. Because ultimately, if it didn't have all this... Um, influence we'd all be pretty healthy then i mean without this stuff without you know the mental what is health? health is like the balance of the organism to live in harmony to feel the harmony of its being and i look at it health as a balance mm -hmm. of the physical etheric astral mental yeah so body. i'm saying if so you so it's a balance of the way we think mm -hmm. you know the the way we feel and then our then our, the energy of our vitality of our body. But if all this other stuff wasn't impinging on us, it would be a lot easier. Yes, we'd have more of that. But that stopped. That changed once we had the industrial revolution, mm -hmm. but and we, the forces but came in. But we can in. still live in harmony, even taking all this into account, right? Yes. And how would we do this? It's acknowledging what is, and who we are, mm -hmm. and. We're here to understand why we are here. Is that why we're here? What about when we understand it, then we are here then, to live it? Then we're, then according to our purpose in life, it's what we, what is our job? What, what, our what, mission, our what is our mission? What is our purpose? Mm. You know, are we a teacher? Are we a, a, a caregiver? Or are we just here to be another light being which then emanates in the world. You know, I study Chinese medicine. I know that. China, but, and the best... But with what, Chris Griscom, too, right? I studied a little... No, not really no, with Chris. No, you didn't... But she went there. She, I was studying in Santa Fe at the Institute of uh, Integrative Medicine. I don't know okay, where she okay. studied. But, but what I was going to say, the best class was a class on nourishing destiny. Leon oh. Hammer, you know, mm -hmm. and his student, Lonnie Jarrett. Okay. You know, Lonnie? I don't know him personally. He said that when you find out what element you are, what type you are, yeah. you, you work on that. That's all you work on work for that. Per, through. through that. Because he said, and not, he didn't say it, but the Chinese say, the lowest form of medicine is making someone well. The, <laughs> the next form is keeping them well. But the highest form of medicine, and I never forgot this, was connecting people to their destiny. Absolutely. So when you know what you're here to do, that will bring health and vitality yes. and invigoration and life to the body and the organism. Of course. Yes, yeah, so that's what I mm -hmm. think, nourishing then destiny. We can, then we can go out the door into another place. Yeah, and then we can help uplift uh, other people. And um, Yeah, I mean, we're here for a reason. Yeah. Uh, and that doesn't mean everyone needs to be a healer. No, of course not. You there's know, a lot but there's a should... lot more to do. I mean, there's that. people who can be artists and people exactly. who can be... Dancers. Yes, and... or even politicians when they do it right. <laughs> I mean, people... No, the pe politician... That, when I interviewed Dennis Kucinich, who was a great guy, oh, yes. he said he is a public servant. Exactly. I said yeah. that's exactly what a politician is, a public servant. They're working for it's us. what they're supposed for, to be. They're working for the people. Aye, aye, aye. Right, right. <laughs> but... Here we are That's today. all right. It doesn't matter. We're grateful to be here, and we're grateful for who we are. Exactly. This conference is so important because you're bringing such new, well, it's not new in a sense, but it's important information to the yeah. public. You know what's interesting? First of all, mm -hmm. no one's getting paid. Oh, really? There is no speaker There's who's no getting There's no speaker people. out of the, getting... what do you have here, 9, 12, 15, 18 people. Yeah, no. Nobody's getting paid. Nobody's getting paid. Okay. It's, we will have a, a beautiful gourmet lunch. We will have mid-morning, mid-afternoon healthy snacks. Great. Vegetables, 
we are vegetable forward anyway, so. We are vegetable forward. I, we are. And uh, we've done everything as just a, um, a mission of love because it's important to integrate medicine and to accept all medicine as healing. Mm. And then this is our own little peace mission. Mm -hmm. And uh, this movement is becoming very um, uh, rewarding because we're sharing. Oh, that's uh, Will Keepin and Cynthia Bricks. Do you wow. know who they are? Will Keepin. No, I think I may have interviewed him on the radio, but I don't They know were him. at the Santa Fe conference. I, don't, I think they do gender reconciliation. What does How that mean? It means we need to heal between men and women. Oh, of course we do. Oh, how appropriate, isn't it? It is, right Very now, timely. especially. Yeah. So yeah. We need, oh, and they do actually, they'll do a, a, a act, they'll show you how. What do you, you mean, know? they'll show you how? It's actually in, integrative into the group. Well, I'd love to interview them, too, when they're here. I'd love yeah. to do a lot of interviews with these people. Definitely, definitely. Yes, this is very exciting. So the theme of elements is, like, what, what do you feel the elements, healing our planet, healing ourselves? Which elements are all the elements? Not just We're going the, to address all the elements. Like, I will address the etheric field when I do my lecture. And what is your lecture particularly about? It's um, understanding the elements and subtle energy, mm. you, you know, and and how important that is. It's really bringing in subtle energy to all medicine. So you're going to cover it, all the elements at this conference. Now. Yeah, the water, the fire of the mind, the fire of the, of the heart. Yeah. And so this is... And, uh, you know, Anne Louise is going to talk about um, detoxing the liver uh, and that the gallbladder is not a throwaway organ. It's not. No. Whoever thought any of it was a throwaway Boy, organ. Well, that's... Well, no, she is very smart. I always enjoy Anne, uh, uh, Anne Louise's latest She's thing. very smart. And La Kelly is someone who's going to be there. Yes. I've interviewed her many times. What is he going to be talking about here? Well, he's going to... Uh, actually, he's on a panel oh. with L Roger Labore, who's a shaman, and my, my dear, sweet, what, young gal... Uh, her name is Karen Jones. She's the author of the um, uh, the the, mir the miracle of the heart. Oh, she really? uh, she had a death experience. She died, oh. and then came back, and then started yoga. And she's realized this how important. I met her at that point, and I helped her to get back her energy. So, what's the panel going to be about? Uh, what is the connection between spirituality and health? Nice. Well, I think it all starts in spirituality. Yep. And then, oh yeah, Woody Merrill. Woody's right here in New York. What's oh, he yes. talking about there? He is going to do a overview of integrative medicine because mm -hmm. he does that very well. Mm -hmm. uh, James uh, Gordon is going to uh, do a, um, a talk on uh, transcending trauma. Yes. He may do, he may actually do a, and some activity in that process. Do you know also, do you know Sylvia Moss? Oh, yeah, I know Sylvia very well. Yes, She's going to do the healing bowls. Yes, you know, I love Sylvia. She, everybody doing it. Great. Because, because I know everyone. Good. And I, I, I pull in my <laughs> favors. <laughs> so someone coming to this conference will get a complete overview yeah. of mind, body, spirit, but all the elements and how they work together, and you will pull them all into a cohesive understanding because that's your job yeah. is to pull it all together. Mm -hmm. And that's great, pulling this conference. So how hey. much is the conference? And the conference is, is 600 Oh, It's a high-priced conference. That is a bit. But yes. we're at a beautiful venue. We're serving food for oh, two days. Are you serving food? Yeah. Excellent. Which, yeah, it's food. Because we can't let them go down the, the pier to go get food. We have to keep them. Okay. So it's going to be a co It is, it'll be more like a workshop mm -hmm. than just sit there and listen. So two whole days, two March whole days. 8th and 9th, 2018. Yeah. And the website to get tickets is G F. I M U S A dot com. G F I M U S A dot com. And you can get tickets and. Um, yeah, just go to the website. And G F I M stands for again? Global Foundation for Integrative Medicine. Right. Great. And, and what? And we, uh, we 
It was, I separated it to USA because we were in other countries. Now I'm trying to put it in other countries. We have now, we'll have GFI in Mexico mm -hmm. and so forth. So it's going to be, we have several um, doctor, actually several people from outside of our country. We have a, a fantastic uh, doctor uh, coming from Kashmir, another one coming from Czech, from Czech Republic, nice. a Russian, at very advanced, uh, so kind of your field of you know what. Wait, is it out there? Really, who's that? I want to meet that uh, guy. Allah, <laughs> she's uh, she's not on there. Okay, I want to meet her. Mm -hmm. Okay, she'll be there. She'll be happy to. I'll, she's coming early. I'll get it. Yes, connect. I'll do an interview with her. Yes. Yes, we'll do. Thank you. What's the future look like for you? What's your medicine, your practice? Where are you going? What, what, what do you, what's on the horizon? What do you see? Well, I want to continue to take GFIM around the world mm -hmm. and to continue to give our message of peace through medicine. Mm -hmm. okay. I love that, peace through medicine, yes. Okay. I want to... Um, also, well, my book is coming out. Okay. Yeah. Great. And is um, Hay House publishing it? Penguin. Penguin. Great. Did you get a contract from Penguin? Great. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. And um, and and you know, Penguin is with Random House. Right. 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 Okay. So uh, and interesting because they have one little section called uh, they, they that do these kinds of books. And that section is Harmony Books. Oh, right. Convenient. <laughs> yes, perfect. <laughs> Made for, for the job. So, uh, yeah, so Harmonic Healing will be coming out. And uh, that I talk about the etheric field. I talk about how to neutralize it. And I'm big on food. As you know, I'm a real foodie. The food is really where we get our healing from right. as but we started. Food be your medicine. Yes, thank you. But we have to have good food. Yes. Good food. Yeah, good and food. And good food is not necessarily in the health food store. It's not. No, it's the, there's so much processed food in the health food store. I mean, Whole Foods has processed, I mean. Really? You didn't but, know that? <laughs> but they say it's organic. Yeah, but it's processed with what? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, no So where do you get, where do you... First of all, go to the fruits and vegetables. You can go to the fruit and vegetable department. You get your food there. Right, yes, yes, of course. That's where you're going to get your most, and you need to cook it in the proper way with love and mm. sharing and caring. You know, and build the community. Cook. Mm. I tell everybody you've got to cook. If you're going to come to me, you have to cook. I do like cooking. I yeah. Do. So, so the book, the GFIM, my practice, you know, my know. son now well, is in... Is working if with me. people want an appointment with you, because Linda does everything, you know, it doesn't matter what you may have, she'll work with you. Generally. No, that hardly. I have a very long uh, uh, wait list oh, right now, oh, oh, oh. so I'm not looking for patients, but but they can see my son. Right. And I have lots of students. And how could they see your son? What's uh, his? Uh, well, we are lightharmonics.com. Go there, and make L I G H. What's your son's name? John, Dr. John. Dr. John, okay. Lightharmonics.com. Okay, okay. L-I-G-H-T, H-A-R-M-O-N-I-S. But the thing about you, your practice, probably your son, too, you stay with people a long time. I mean, you just don't I see them once. I have patients that I see through their leaving. You know, mm -hmm. I have lots of patients in their 90s. What do you mean, through their leaving the earth? Yes. Okay. I've been known to lie on the floor in hospice. Oh, I you know, see. I mean, we do that. But we you, take care of once we have. You we stay take care with them a long time. Though. Long time. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I yeah. have patients 20, 30 years. I know that. Yes, I know. it's very yeah. exciting. So it's hard. So as things move, I start to take. They get the wait list. Mm. We look at the wait list, and then we bring them on. Wow. So yeah. you're always busy, huh? I am always busy. Wow, and it's amazing you have time for conferences to hold. To, well, it's, it's a important. Lot of work. You know, it's a mission. Yes. So, so you're um, seeing the big picture of health. I hope so. I think you are. <laughs> you know, healing our planet, healing ourselves, that's it. Yeah. Oh, one of the main people, one of my key oh. people is Terry Tempest Williams. I don't know her. Oh, my gosh. Well, tell me. Uh, that's Terry. Okay. She will have a message for the earth. 
And Terry is one of uh, Terry Tempest Williams. She wrote the book Refuge. She's uh, she's from Utah. Um, actually, she's teaching in Cambridge right now. But she is a healer of the earth. Great. And no, I'd like to interview her too. Yeah. Maybe I could come and just set up a little corner there at your place. With a... It's hard during. All right. Then after you know, or before. Because then you take them away yeah, from yeah, listening to, to their yeah, friends. Yeah. Yes, yes. No, I get that. <laughs> this, so, is, this is a community. This is one speaker at a that, time? Yes. It's not, like, oh, it's, no. it's not like a three ring circus. Not at all. Okay. And okay. limited seating. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Alfredo Sphair Eunice, you've heard him. You I heard him I in have. Santa Fe. Yes. And you've heard him in, um, he's our peace ambassador. Nice. And he ran for president in Chile. On the oh, Green Party, oh, he was thirty years um, uh, the director of the World Bank. Wow! And he was the first economist. He and is an he is an ecological economist. And what's he going to talk about? He'll do a peace message. I don't know yet. And I my just know good he's coming. friend Jerry Epstein, what's he's going to be speaking about? And he'll talk about uh, Western wisdom. Oh yeah. He's and then Martha Cortez, yeah, dentistry. Uh, our dentist, um, and Mar Martina Goldberg, yes. is, she talks about universal energy, and she will actually teach how to use universal energy as um, a healing. And she yeah. is the, the president of, of Mexico, GFIM. Oh, she is. And yeah. Radha... Radha Gopalan is a cardiologist. Okay. He studied originally with Anton Jayasuriya, in, known from Sri Lanka. Okay. And he became one of the leading uh, cardiologists here and in Arizona. He's teaching at Arizona State in the Integrative Medicine Department now. And uh, this guy, Zachary Bush? He's fantastic. What's he talk about? Well, he's talking about uh, the communication of bacteria. Oh, that's what. It, that's to, the guy you said. How to that. get them peaceful again. And then this, I think this guy we didn't talk about yet, the Dr. Amjad. Mahmoud. Yeah, uh, and sorry, he's a longtime integrative medicine pra practitioner. He teaches. He treats all a lot of the politicians from Kashmir and mm. Pakistan, so he's, we're still hoping that he gets here. We're still praying for his visa. Oh, oh. from Pakistan. From one of those countries. <laughs> but anyway, I'm so happy you're doing it, because you're right, uh, this is. It's fun, if we can have fun. This is universal though, health is universal. It yeah. can't be divided into countries or different yeah. type races, religions, ethnicities. No. It's all the human no. body. It's like the one thing we have that in we common. Can, can, <laughs> yes. yes, we do. Thank yeah. you, Linda. I'm really Thanks. excited. I'm glad. That you're well, still we'll at see. It. And you'll see Alan there. Yeah, I'll be there. You yes, will be definitely. there. <laughs> I'd like to be there. Yes, definitely. Um, and so your website again is? G-F-I-M-U-S-A. Right. Dot com. And then your particular website for making points with your son is? And they can, make, they can and, put, go on a wait list for me. Lightharmonics.com. Lightharmonics.com. Yeah. And there, were, what, there was one other thing. I knew there was one more thing that was just so important. Well, it'll come. It'll come. It'll come. But I think it's... It's, it doesn't, it's a big vision. You know, if you have a, um, a sense that you want to join a movement of the things that we're talking about that you believe in. Yes. This is the boat to you go would on. You should join the GFIM World Congress? Yeah, yes, you... and if you can't, you can go to the website and become a member and you'll see all the videos. Oh. When so you, you can... become a member, you will, you will have access to all the videos. Oh, great. So that's the other part that we do. Great, okay, that's March 8th and 9th, 2018 at the Chelsea Piers. Look it up. Thank you for watching. I'm Alan Thank Steinfeld. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you.